Hi there, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This is Andre from Dagubi. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create this design. In this design I use different tools, paintbrush tool and then I use for the stroke this width profile. I show you how to create your own width profile and for the swirls I use the spiral tool so you can create your own spirals different spirals with more curves or less curves and that goes like this okay the first thing what we need to do is create a line please choose the paintbrush tool and black color for the stroke and create a line like this So next I'm going to change the width of the line. So you can do that with this variable width profile. But before you choose your profile, change the brush to this basic brush and now change it to 10 points for example. And now you can try different profiles, but I'm going to apply my own profile and that goes like this. Choose this width tool and now go to your line and click for example here and now you can change this. So click here and now here and here. So if you like you can move this handle now zoom in and change it so so you can change this thickness click on this stroke white or you drag this handle Okay, now I'm going to save this profile. So you can see this profile. Now open this bar and click on this button, Add to Profile. Call it Swirl and click OK. So next I'm going to draw a second line. So by the way, I make a double click on the paintbrush tool and you can see my options for the paintbrush tool. Okay, so now move this. Now go to the brushes and apply this basic brush and now click on your new profile and change the stroke so you can if you like you can change this profile okay Okay, next I'm going to add some little spills. Please choose the spiral tool and now click and drag your mouse. So you can do some different things with the spiral. First, 
press the arrow keys and you can add create more or less anchor points and second you can hold the control key you can change this spiral so okay i create some different spirals So now select all the spirals and apply your width profile. Okay, so now choose the free transform tool and scale the spiral. So like this spiral now hold the hold down the old key and create a copy. So make this scale this spiral bigger and now I'm going to flip this horizontal. So now choose the direct selection tool and click on this anchor point and move this point. So copy this. Flip this horizontal and so you can delete this point. You can do that with this button or you can choose this delete anchor point tool and click on this button. Okay, next choose the pen tool and now zoom in. Now click here, click and drag your mouse, click here and now again drag your mouse and now hold the Alt key and you can change this line so now we'll choose the direct selection tool and drag this handle click on this point so now we'll change this shape to none stroke and for the fill black So that's too big. You 
Okay, that's fine. So now you can make a copy from this shape, hold down the old key and oops. And shrink this a little bit. So now make a copy from this shape, this flip this horizontal. Delete this point. You can change width profile. Click on this profile. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is create an oval. Please choose the ellipse tool and create an oval like this. So for the stroke none color and black for the fill. Okay, so make a copy, hold down the old key and move this So next I'm going to add some leaves I choose my own leaves all these Dagubi brushes available on my website dagubi.com and I use this brushes set and I need this leaf. Choose the paintbrush tool and now you can draw a line. So this leaves looks like this. So you can also select this line and now click on this anchor point and now go and click on this button. Cut path as selected anchor points. Now select only this line and apply this leaf. and make the same with this line click on this point cut now select only this little arc and click on this brush so now i'm going to Draw more lines with, for example, with this brush.
So you can apply another brush, this brush or this, or you can go and apply your custom width profile with this or another. So I'm finished with this design and now select all the shapes and now go to objects and click on expand appearance. Now go to windows, pathfinder and click on unit. So now duplicate this layer click and drag it down to this new layer button and first scale this layer, shrink this a little bit and now select this layer and change the color to gray click on hide edges, so now it's better when you transform this with this free transform tool. That's it, I'm finished. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.